beautiful fire. To get this beautiful fire started, we use fire starters. We used to buy them, but they're quite expensive, and we found an inexpensive way to make many of them in a not too difficult way. We use paper from our paper shutter. We have a diagonal paper shutter that works really well. Can also use dryer lint. We've done that in the past, but it takes a while to gather enough lint to do a whole bunch of fire starters. And we use snack cups. We just put the uh, shredded pieces of paper into the snack cups, fill them up, and then we put hot wax in the cups. We get the hot wax from candles that we buy that are on sale or candles that we have and burn down too far to use as a candle anymore, so we just save them and uh, melt it in a like a double boiler and pour it into the cups. There's one here. To get the hot wax into the cups I use a plastic ladle. And the reason I do that is because it happened to be there and I was looking for something. The first time I made candles I used the spout on this pitcher but that didn't work out too well. It couldn't be very accurate with very, very, very hot wax. So the ladle seems to be working out really great. Also, when you, I, you just have to be careful. When I fill them up, I hold the cup towards the top, carefully pour the wax in the, in the paper cup. It's important to keep your ladle over your wax and not over the water because you get wax in the water and you're going to be cleaning the pot forever. What I use to tie the pitcher to the to the pot is butcher's twine. It uh, is okay with heat as long as it's not you know subject to open flame. It keeps the pot with the melted wax secure because as you take wax out of the pot it will become lighter and has a tendency to float and then you don't want wax in your water so this keeps this keeps everything uh, secure. What we're using here to make fire starters for our fireplace are scented candles because that's what we happen to have and they're also color but when we make fire starters to light our charcoal when we're camping is unscented white candles there's no odor whatsoever comes in real handy to light a charcoal fire. Put in one or two fire starters and in a few minutes the charcoal is red hot. So filling the cups is a simple thing. You need to use caution. I grab the cup by the top, put a couple ladles of wax in, put it down. And just keep doing this. As I said earlier, be sure to keep your ladle above the wax. Don't let it get above the water because you're going to get wax in the water. Unless, unless this is a pot you don't care. We use this pot to cook in so we don't want any wax in it. We do wash it out very carefully, but getting wax out is a major pain in the neck. We generally do 50 to 75 fire starters at a time. In addition to using these snack cups, you can also use egg cartons, cardboard egg cartons. We've done that a couple times. We just find this a lot easier to do a whole bunch of these at a time. And I believe you can buy maybe 200 of these cups for a dollar or two. They're not very expensive at all. As you can see as I'm taking wax out of here, this starts to flow a little bit. That makes the string very important. Usually as our wax goes down, I'll put more candles in to add weight and then there's enough in there to start the next batch. Okay, there we are. made 48 of them this batch. These two in the center are the ones where I used uh, dryer lint. As I said earlier, uh, paper from a paper shredder, if you happen to have one, works really great. Also, uh, 
instead of these paper cups you can use a cardboard egg crate and that's this is all really cool recycling okay lighting our fire starters the first one is the one with the shredded paper and the one on the left is the one with lint from the dryer. There we go. That's it. All we do is put some kindling on top and we got a brand new fire. The easy way. This is 10 minutes later. The fire starter made out of uh, shredded paper is still burning and the one made out of dryer lint uh, just went out about a minute ago and it looks like the one with paper still has quite a few minutes to go they both work well they both start a fire really well and I don't know if I mentioned it earlier or not but if you have easy access to sawdust that works um, very well also